How are you? Hello, good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. <clears throat> teacher, you, I am Jaime. driving. You're driving, okay, Jaime. Thank you for letting me know. I have so, a noise. Be careful, be careful. All right. Is everything okay, guys? Yes? No questions? Better impossible, right? I gotta mute my microphone. I'm sorry? I you don't have hear a me? Lot of yeah, you can hear me, right? Yes, very yeah. clear. Okay, okay, very good. I didn't understand what you said, Pablo. I have a lot of noise today. Oh, okay, okay. So don't don't worry. Move, uh, put the mute. If there is too much background, don't worry about it. All right. Thanks. My pleasure, guys. Today we're gonna run because um let me see you are an MED too okay because we need to finish everything to uh, complete the session too so you have a hundred percent on your exercises or the um, yeah the exercises or the little quizzes that you have right um nice to see you guys que bueno verles las caritas verles los demás que me ven con la cámara Jaime is driving so he cannot turn on the camera Hello, Julissa, Evelyn, Susana, Marcelo, nunca lo hemos visto en persona, solo su foto lo hemos visto. Carlos Dimas nunca se presentó, ni siquiera nos dijo nada, creo yo. Right? Who's Carlos Dimas? Ajá. Yes, Carlos. What happens with the camera? you guys thank you for turning on the cameras and we are going to finish everything on the session number uh, one and two let me just show you something all right here we are estamos en esta lección intermediate two all right so we were doing the exercises uh 1.7 i guess right do you remember guys which was the last exercise we 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 did el reading lo vamos a hacer otro día all right because uh, of the time yo sé que vamos a tener más tiempo so uh, this time we will just finish all the exercises and give you some explanation about it about how to use certain um certain things or in this case, well, we already know the um, the phrasal verbs. We did uh, we did yeah, we did this one already. So what is next? The lesson objective reading for specific information. We already did this. Uh, sorry, I have classes right now. Send me a text or a, a voice note, please. Bye bye. All right. Um, so, guys, well, help me read, Diego. Hello, tell me, can you read for me? Yes, teacher. This instruction. All right. Lesson objective. In this class, you will develop skills and guessing meaning for context and reading for a for specific information. Very good. Mira, uno solo se corrige, ¿verdad? Thank yes. you. Very nice pronunciation. For specific information. Thank you, guys. So we already did this. Um, yeah, I forgot that. So we are going to do the reading if we have the time. Otherwise, we can finish this or we can continue this on Monday, okay? Eh, ahorita lo que me interesa es que terminemos los ejercicios, ¿verdad? Si tienen alguna duda, para que ustedes tengan el 100. So you, ha you have a hundred percent in all the exercises. Now, can you help me read, um, Morena, this uh, lesson number two? What is this about? Okay. Uh, um... In this class, you will practice using infinity and general for uses and purposes. And purposes, all right. Thank Infinitives you. and gerunds. Remember, the S makes the plural word, all right? Uh, the, uh, the word plural. Okay, purposes, purposes. Thank you. So, purposes. guys, in this case, 
I know you should have watched this video already. Ya, yo les dejo de tarea para que ustedes vean estos videitos. Y si no, pues ustedes tienen tiempo. You can have or you can watch this later on. Remember, you, need, you have the deadline for tomorrow that you can finish everything, okay? Now, um, please check this video. I'm just going to give you a brief, a brief explanation about this, the gerunds and um, the gerunds and the and infinitives. Okay, when we are talking about purpose, what does the what does it come to your mind when we're talking about the purpose? It's your intention, right? What is the purpose or your intention or the reason why you're doing something? All right, so uh, the infinitive means that we normally use to, for example, if you have watched the videos, I ask you to watch the video in order to, esto, esto to, significa in order to, pero uno lo, lo hace más cortito solo diciendo to, all right? In order to is the same thing, pero el to puede ser, el, in order can be omitted. Now, if we're talking about infinitive, uh, what is a, uh, what is a must? We always use to, this particle that is to. In this case, all right, I am asking you guys to uh, read or to watch the videos uh, by yourself to advance faster, okay? Ese es mi purpose, right? To advance faster. Por eso estoy ocupando el to. Si se fijan, ahí estamos ocupando un, un infinitive. ¿Qué pasa si estamos hablando or what happens if we're using a gerund? So in that case, we also use, a, for a gerund, we use um, the particle for, all right? Example, why are you studying English? Oh, I am studying English. In my case, I am studying French because, uh, because, or in order to, or in lugar de decir because, you can say, oh, to have a better job, to have more opportunities, to be bilingual, or in my case will be to be trilingual. All right, so I am studying this, I'm studying, I'm working to pay my expenses, I'm work, I'm saving too. Alguien me dijo ayer, no sé si está acá. I'm saving money to have my own car, to buy my car, all right? I'm studying French too. But basically that is, that is the infinitive and that is what we, when we mention the purpose or the reason or the, um, um, the intention, all right? Um, always when you use um, to, in this case, we have an infinitive. What does infinitive mean? Sorry, guys, let me make it bigger. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Mm -hmm. Something that is uh, doing always. Um, an infinitive means that the verb doesn't change. It's like in the base form, all right? For example, the infinitive in Spanish is ar, er, ir. Todos los verbos que terminan así sin conjugarlo, without conjugating them, right? Uh, let me see what else. Yeah, okay. Now, I'm free to, um, to travel, to, um, to travel to France, for example. Um, but if I say for, what is the structure? I ocupamos un gerund. Tell me with the structure, guys. The same structure. I am studying French. Mm -hmm. If you saw or watched this video, you should remember what is the structure since we're using a gerund. What is a gerund? It's the opposite, right? The? For traveling. For ing, very good. We use the ing. So we use the particle for, but the verb in this case will change for ing for, with the ing for. That's it. Okay. So, uh, Pablo, why are you studying English? Why I'm not studying English? Yes. Why are you studying English? I'm studying English for. Uh, Improving myself. For improving your skills. All right, thank you. Uh, Brenny, and uh, why are you taking English classes if your English is advanced? Who you say? 
are you studying English? You asking me. I'm sorry, I can't hear my name. Okay. Why do you study or why are you studying English? For traveling to the United States. All right, for traveling, right? That's it. Thank you. Um, Morena, why uh, do you work? Trabaja, do you work? Yes, I work. Why do you work? Tell me the reason. Si no, 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 no comemos, but <laughs> to survive. <laughs> I working for paying my bills. Okay, repeat, please. No, no contractions, guys. I'm working. Si I'm working. Acuérdese, si hacemos la contracción, exageremos yes. ese I'm. All right. I'm working. I'm working mm -hmm. for paying my bills. For paying my bills. Excellent. All right. What about you, Alejandra? Do you work? Yes. Mm. Alejandra, you look from you, you you look kind of new for me. Vamos a ver, Alejandra. Is this your first time? No, second day. The second day. Oh, I, I remember. Yeah, that is why. It's just the second day. So the other were the other students' uh, faces look more familiar to me. But yeah, it's good to have you to at the second time. It seems that you liked the previous class. So thank you. All right. Uh, why are you studying English? I'm studying English for uh, learning. More for learning, good job for learning more. All right, what about you, Diego? Why do you study English? Mira, le pregunto, do you are you, verdad? Si se fijan, el do you es simple present. Are you studying? Lo con ing es un present continuous. So pay attention to the question. I'm studying English for uh, getting a new job. All right, one more time. Puede decir, why do you study? Me puede decir, I am studying con el, con el verbo I am, o sea, la contracción, mm -hmm. I'm studying, pero el verbo con ing. Or you can say, I study. Simplemente yo estudio. One more time. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. I study for uh, getting a new job. All right, nice. Excellent. Thank you. Uh, what about, let me see, Gladys. Um. Hello. Let me let, uh, tell me why uh, do you work? Yes, I work. I think also uh, everybody works, almost everybody, right? Uh, maybe Alexander he's not working, but probably the rest are are working. You you all are working. So, uh, Gladys, why are you working? <laughs> uh, well, I work uh, for um, support. My family and I. Oh, oh, oh. Si yo digo for, ¿qué le tengo que agregar? Un ING. Ajá. ING. Uh -huh. For support my family and For I. Supporting my family. Support, I no. Ya en el video pudieron ver que for support no está bien. Ni tu supporting mucho support. menos, ¿verdad? For supporting. supporting. Ahí le tiene que poner la ING. Yeah, that's correct. To, su uh, to support my family or for supporting my family. All right. And Christina, why um, uh, why do you eat? Why do you eat? Or why do, <laughs> do we eat? Everybody has to eat, right? It's a necessity. Because I have been hungry. Oh, because, um, okay. Use for or use to. Remember, use the purpose. Okay, I eat to. I eat to because I'm hungry. To because, no. To. Uh, like I satisfies eat. my hunger, but, uh, okay? To satisfy, para satisfacer okay. mi necesidad. To satisfy okay. my hunger. To satisfy my, hum my, hunger. my hunger. Hunger. Hunger es hunger. Es, hunger es hambre, ¿verdad? Hungry okay. es hambriento, cuando uno tiene hambre, right? Uh, to satisfy my hunger or for satisfying my hunger, all right? My hunger, okay. sorry. Is to satisfy. Very good. You see, you we are doing different verbs. We're we're practicing different verbs this time. In the next exercise, I'm going to ask the rest. Okay. In the meantime, I remember I just asked a few of you, but um, I mean the examples are really good. Just take notes of them. And at this moment, we'll continue with the um, exercises. Okay. Are you ready to answer this at uh, the knowledge check? Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm ready. 
Yes, I am ready. Very good. Am, am. Remember, I'm. Hay que exagerar esa M. Si solo digo, I ready, yo listo. No, yo estoy listo. I am ready. All right. Um, so I already asked Pablo, Brandy, Morena, Alejandra. Also, Diego, a los que no les he preguntado, pues ya les voy a preguntar. Don't worry, guys. You can practice. No problem. And then Gladys, right? And Cristina. That's it. Gladys and Cristina. The next, you, uh, I will ask the rest in a few in a few minutes. All right. Can you tell me, guys? Can you, can somebody read these instructions? These instructions. Uh -huh. Me? Sure, Cholisa, tell me. Okay. Complete the phrase by selecting phrases. either phrases, phrases. Very, phrase, phrases by selecting either an infinity or a gerund. Infinity, infinitive, infinitive. Infinitive or yeah. a gerund. Very good. Or a gerund. All right. Thank you. Help me with the number one. What do you think the answer is, guys? Is there any any other person who wants to participate here? Carlos Dimas, you say, tell me. I have a question, teacher. Tell me. Who is the pronunciation? What? Word to, what what is, is the pronunciation? What is the pronunciation for the word? 2.2. No sé cómo decirle la palabra que está a la par del 2.2. Knowledge. 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 Repeat it, guys. Knowledge. Right? Knowledge. Okay? Repeat it, Carlos. I want to hear you. Knowledge. Knowledge, okay. You see, guys, no cameras, no answers. That is not good. All right, so tell me, guys, what do you think in number one? Who wants to read it? Study the world sweater. Can we see under Saturday night? Like, come on, guys. Lean la, la respuesta completa. No sean tan araganes. Don't be so lazy. Come on. Practice English, guys. Okay, the more know. you practice, the better okay. you get. The better English you have. Mm -hmm. Saturday night, I used to study the world. The world's weather. The worst weather. All right. The world's weather. All right. To study. No. Which is the one? So this first one. First one. First one. Yeah, exactly. Somebody wanted to say something, sorry? Yes? I said, would you like to show all the answer? Oh, sure, it is too big, I know. Sorry, 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 sorry. Okay, thank you, Brandy. Uh, somebody else mentioned something or say something? I don't, I didn't hear you. No se los interrumpí porque hablamos como al mismo tiempo, two people. All right. The second one, guys. Brenny, you want to say this one? I pass. For performing the dangerous task. Robots are sometimes you. Yo quiero que me pronuncien, guys, todo. Okay? Not only the question, not only the answer. Robots are something used. Something, que something. Something in algo. Sometimes. Sometimes. Song. Robots. Song. Eso es canción. Sometimes. sometimes. Imagínese que sometimes. ni siquiera lo estoy viendo, pero lo escucho el sometimes. Sometimes. No está cerrando ni la boca porque ni siquiera se lo escucho, ¿verdad? Si usted tuviera la cámara más, más se le notara todavía que le hace así. En lugar de... Ok, sometimes no. Sometimes are used, all right, to or for... For performing dangerous tasks. For performing dangerous task. Okay, thank you. Number three, guys. So, to send text messages. You can use cell phone to send text messages. Use. Eso es jugo. Use. Use. Right? 
Vaya, guys, si no les gusta que los que, que, que no le, si no, ¿quién, a quién no le gusta que lo corrija, porque veo que a algunos como que no les gusta participar porque les da miedo o, 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 o se molestan que les, que les corrija, ¿verdad? Por eso estoy aquí yo, ¿verdad? Y si no, ustedes pueden hacer todas las cosas en la plataforma By Yourself, right? So, one more time, repeat it, Gladys. Say it better. Say it in a better pronunciation. You can use a cell phone to send text messages. Thank you. Right? You can use, all right? Remember the you, all right? Use. You can use, okay, mm, cell phone to send text messages. All right. Thank you. Very good. Thank you. Much better. All right. Number four, guys. People use the internet for making oh, for making travel reservation. All right. Thank you. Very good. Thank you. I appreciate it, Marina. All right. The next one. DNA. DNA finger printing. Please use fingerprints. Fingerprints is used. For identify criminals. Identify, all right, identify criminals. Okay, used. Vamos a exagerar ese sonido. Yo sé, guys, que ya ustedes lo dicen, pero yo no se los escucho porque, pues, creo que me voy a poner los audífonos mejor. Espérenme, porque no les escucho esa de algunos. Yo tal vez estoy sorda y tengo mucho background, ¿verdad? Give me a second. So I am going to use my webcam. Sorry, guys. I just broke my glass. Sorry, my, sorry, my language, guys. Okay, I am going to use my headsets to hear you better or for hearing you better. Okay, and I am going to move to clean this disaster that I have, okay? Um, Give me just a second, guys. I really need to uh, clean this. Look, it's not actually a, it's not a glass, but it's a bottle, a glass of, a bottle of glass. So <laughs> give me a second. All right. Thankfully, I have my shoes to protect my feet. All right. Um, sometimes, and you will not let me, you will not, you will actually be witness of, of this, that you're not wearing or you're not, yeah, you're not wearing shoes. ¿Quién no está ocupando zapatos ahora? Vamos a ver. Ahí está, ¿verdad? Estamos más tranquilos. Very good. A veces yo me los quito, guys, but in this case, thankfully, I had my shoes on. Okay, DNA fingerprints are, is used. Oh, perdón, es fingerprinting. Sorry, I didn't, I didn't read it well. Perdón por corregirla, Yulisa, y no lo había leído bien. So I'm so sorry. Fingerprinting. Printing. Printing is used for identify criminals. No. Identify for identify. Vale, lo voy a dejar ahí. Usted me dice, ahí, ahí van a ver si ustedes si están en lo correcto. Sorry, yes. sorry. Uh -huh. To identify. Ident 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 to identify. To identify. Acordémonos, chicos, yes. que la M, en este caso la T, después de la N, It's en general no la pronunciamos. ¿Ya? Yes? Is the first one. The last one say seminal. Ay, ay, ay. Thank you, thank you very much. All right. One. Si lo sale malo es mi culpa, guys. Okay, yo sé que ustedes lo están haciendo bien. Thank you. A veces uno está un poquito I did it. Oh, I did distracted, it right? You you are distracted sometimes. And I'm so sorry, guys. Uh, number six, what is the answer? CV rooms are used for storing an encyclopedia. An encyclopedia uh, mm -hmm. for storing an encyclopedia. For storing an encyclopedia. All right, encyclopedia, encyclopedia. Very excellent, guys. All right, let's continue with the two point three. Help me read. Anyone who wants to read this part? Thank you, Jay. Participants will notice and practice stress stress in words with more. More than, than two syllables. Syllables. 
syllabus. Syllabus. I still don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> syllabus. More than two syllables. Okay, guys. I know sometimes we feel stressed, right? But this is not the meaning of this stress. What is that meaning? It's like the force, I think. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. When you put more emphasis, all right, or the strongest emphasis. sound in the in the word. Thank you, Diego. Really, really good. All right. Uh, so that is a stress, guys. Okay, that is a stress when we're talking about grammar, grammar, right? Give me a second. I'm gonna use my microphone, my microphones, my headsets to hear you better for not having distractions, okay? But I don't hear you guys. I don't know if they still work. Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, we can. Hello. Yes, yes. Mm, all right. Mm, I, don't, I, I don't see. Give me a second. Um, Did you connect it? I think I haven't connected them. I don't know if they work. It's been a while that I haven't used them. It's because uh, for me, it's a little bit uncomfortable because they are kind of, you know, they tight my ears. Me las aprieta. All right. So I will leave it like this for a while. Okay. Sorry. Uh, just exaggerate the, uh, the sounds, please. The final sounds, especially. All right, Jamie, you cannot turn the camera. It's okay. And you okay you will be just listening to the class says elizabeth it's okay thank you for notifying listen thank you for notifying meeting siempre cuando uso for siempre ocupo un ing okay eh, so yeah. let's mm -hmm. let's see this is a this is a video so you should have already watched this all right so we're not yeah. going to get entertained in this video all right it said, uh, can you read the second? I mean, can you can you read these extra instructions or or um, sentence? Me? Sure. In this session, ses session, session, you will session. You will practice a conversation about using a cell phone. See mm -hmm. imperatives and infinitives for giving suggestions in context. All right, suggestions, suggestions, suggestions. suggestions. All right, very good. Ahora sí lo dijo super bien el using, ¿verdad? Thank you. Okay, excellent, guys. That is very, very nice from you when you learn really fast and you correct yourself right away. All right, conversation. Can I borrow your cell phone? Well, I don't think it's necessary to watch this video, guys. But it seems that it's really sweet. We know. Let's see how, how long is this video. I think this is, a, it's not too long. Okay. To call my boss. What is the reason to call her boss, right? Give me a moment that I cannot share the sound at this moment. Okay, let me share. It's because you haven't pressed the call button. Don't forget. Oh, All right, good. so it's what ringing. we are doing at Try this time to guys, is to use the imperative. What is imperative? Is when we are not giving orders, we cannot say giving commands. Eh, no necesariamente cuando estamos mandando, ¿verdad? Pero es como decir, mira, hace tal cosa. Usted lo puede decir de la forma amable, pero si le dice, go away, andate, Ay, ya se oye todo raro. Entonces, eso es un imperative. When you are giving suggestions or giving commands, all right? Basically, that's it. And let me see what I have for you in this, in the next slide, all right? The imperatives and given suggestions. All right, what is the structure, guys? The structure for affirmative, you just use the verb, right? Guys, eh, do the homework, okay? Guys, connect on time. Guys, turn on the camera, you see? You just use the verb, all right? No, listen, hey, you turn on the camera, no. Simplemente no ocupamos el sujeto, solo decimos el verbo, all right? Turn on the cameras, eh, 
put a, a, a mute the microphone, etc. All right, it's when we give so um, maybe commands or suggestions, maybe. Okay, now if it's affirmative, that is the way, but if it's negative, no lo hagas. Okay, don't. All right, ahí decimos don't. Okay, do not or don't. Okay. Aquí no digo dasen, ok? Simplemente, hey, don't do that, ok? No hagas eso. Hey, ¿cuántas veces le decimos? Si no haces eso, if you don't do that, ahí simplemente, don't do it, no lo hagas, right? It's basically to, to say not to do something, uh, but it's actually, you say don't plus the verb in, affirm, in, 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 in infinitive, all right? In infinitive, all right? Uh, but if we are giving some suggestions, what do you remember in this video, guys? What do you remember or what can you tell? What can you notice in this video? Uh, in, well, in this conversation, within this conversation, what can you see or what expressions can you see uh, to give suggestions or to give commands or, um, or uh, um, yeah, to give... Um, Imperatives, all right, or suggestions. Mm -hmm. What are the expressions that he's using? Okay, when he's saying, okay, uh, let me see if you can. See. Why is this so small? And blurry. And blurry. I know. All right, guys, but I know that you should, you have already watched this video, so. Uh, uh, let's see some, um, let me see, let me draw something. Okay, the first one, can I borrow? That is a request, all right? Thank you. Do, what do I need to do? Oh, be sure or make sure, right? Aquí tenemos uno. All right, another one, expressions to, to, like, to introduce the suggestions or the command. The next one, I don't and don't, don't forget. forget. Exactly. Don't forget exactly what the example that I was mentioning, right? Don't forget to do this. Okay. And remember, don't forget to, all right? Uh, and then we use another infinity one more time. The next one. Mm, try not to get too excited. Very good. Try, all right? Try not mm. to get too excited. All right. And the last one. Make sure to uh -huh. mm -hmm. make sure, right? Make sure to hit the button to hit make the button sure. the end button. And I can read the last. No, mm -hmm, <laughs> I know, but it says you will leave the conversation on the voicemail. That's it. I think that it is. It is done. Okay. Okay. Esas um, esas. Así estaba ya, guys, okay? It, it's, it's not, it's not that I cut it, it's that it's like this already. Okay, um, so that's it. Basically, when you give suggestions or you give imperatives or give like commands, right? It's when you're saying some, uh, telling someone to do something or not to do something, okay? Um, Guys, I have a question for him. Let me stop share this. Okay, it is recording. Last time I had to give an extra class because the class was not recorded, you know? He was like, oh my God, I had to work an extra day. Okay, and basically that's it. Let's continue with the exercises, all right? Guys, What's the difference between borrow and lend? Do you know? Borrow is when you will, when you will like, uh, can I borrow your cell phone? It's just for some minutes. And lend is, uh, can you lend me money? You will pay like uh, three days, no? It's so it, de it depends on the time you, that you're returning something. That's what you mean? No. All right. So think about it. Okay, guys, the difference is actually when you lend money, it's because you are expecting these people to return the money or return anything to you. But if you say, 
can I lend you? Usted lo está pidiendo y usted lo tiene que regresar, right? So you have to return it. Not to, you don't, you will have to return it to that person. But if you lend it, this person has to give it to me back, right? That's the difference, all right? And then... Yo tengo un montón de gente aquí, guys, que están conectados. Eh, y no me encienden la cámara, nunca. Nora González, nunca la he visto en la clase. No sé si es un fantasmita. Primera vez que la veo. Uh -huh. Es que a veces me asusto, guys. Y como que, Dios mío, ¿verdad? ¿quién estará ahí, de verdad? Ya. Turn on the camera. Uh, Nora, uh, is this your uh, first time in the class? Uh, uh, Nora. Okay. Oh, the hey. audio is not really good. That is probably the reason why you're not turning on the camera. Is this your first time in this class, Nora? Yes, it's my the first time. All right, so introduce I, I yourself. Don't... Todos los hicimos. So introduce yourself, please, and turn on the camera if possible, okay? Okay, I am a, I'm Nora Gonzalez. Um, I'm living in La Libertad. Um, I, I'm 43 years old. I live with my parents. I am a single. And also, um, I study at the University of the U.S. And I, I am... In the U.S.? <laughs> US, US. Remember, we don't use US. translation when there are proper nouns, okay, Nora? Okay, okay. 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 At US, Universidad de Salvador, okay? Okay. Um, what are you studying, oh, sorry? Um, I'm a teacher in uh, sciences or literature. A teacher or teacher? Yeah, teacher. A teacher, cho, cho. Más fuerte la che porque teacher es la camiseta, ¿verdad? Un poquito más fuerte si la che. Okay, good, Nora. So, okay, welcome, thanks. welcome, and thank you for joining to the class, okay? Any questions? Okay. Eh, creo que a, ayer, ¿a quién es que le mandaron un mensajito? Que era su primera vez y ahí les enviaron en el WhatsApp, ¿verdad? El, para, que se, um, para que vean los videos, ¿verdad? De las clases que ustedes no pudieron estar. Okay, guys, uh, please help me with the cameras, guys. Help me with the cameras, okay? Uh, now, guys, let's continue, okay? By the end of the lesson, can you help me read? Susana, Evelyn, Susana, please. It... Have you... At the end uh, of this session. At the end. At the end of the session. You Ay, will... Mira, así se ve, así se ve, mire. Póngase una mejor postura porque, mire, es de verdad que nos duerme así estamos así, guys. Session. Perdón, pero lo digo por la mayoría que a veces estamos así. ¿Ok? Eh, ni la postura, guys, cuando uno está estudiando, hasta la postura tiene que ver, ¿verdad? Si uno está así, le, le, le da el un mensaje a su cerebro que me quiero dormir y no está aprendiendo. Okay, one more time, eh, Susana. If the uh, if the I at the end of the session. Uh, if the session you will understand. You so, will un you will understand. You will. We will, we'll, we'll understand. We'll understand how to use imperatives. You use imperatives, yeah. You use. Use imperat imperatives and infinite. And infinities. El verbo, eh, perdón, el topic era imperatives and infinities. All right, so guys, pay attention on pronunciation. Infinity is for giving suggestions, okay. What, uh, well, we already know uh, what, uh, how to use the imperatives, right? We already uh, talked about this. Um, so we are not going to watch the video because you will have the time to do it by yourself, okay? So let's mm -hmm. continue. The, let's do the knowledge check. Anyone who wants to read the instructions, please.
<laughs> Read these suggestions. Which ones refer to an alarm system, a cell phone, a laptop computer? Choose among those. Choose among those. All right. Choose among. among. Choose among. All right. Uh, which one refer to an alarm system, a cell phone, a laptop computer? All right. It's a question mark. Remember to emphasize or make the sound to make it question. All right. So everybody repeat suggestions. 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 Thank you. Ok. Vamos entonces. Le voy a preguntar a los demás que no les he preguntado. All right. I want to hear from everybody. All right, guys. If you guys who don't have the camera want to participate, you can raise your hand. I know that Jamie and Jaime are, well, they cannot make it. Marcelo nunca se ha querido presentar. No sé qué es lo que le pasa. Ok. A saber qué tiene, ¿verdad? Que le da pena que lo veamos. Ok, guys. Help me with cameras, guys. Eh, tell me the number one. Por favor, no solo me digan la opción. Quiero que le lean toda. All right. Eh, anyone? Eh, the ones that have not participated. Si, si no hay más que no, que no han participado, entonces los que ya participaron también lo pueden hacer cuando vean que nadie levanta la mano. Ok. You raise your hand, Ana Lilian. Tell me. Okay. Try to keep it closed. Keep it. Keep it. Keep it. Try Acuérdese to... de arrastrar okay. estos sonidos. Ve, keep it. Mm -hmm. Try to keep okay. it. Try to keep it closed to protect the screen. To protect the screen. Very good. The screen. Thank you. So, is that a... What do you it's think? A... Keep it closed to protect the screen. Screen. The last one, right? The cell phone? Well, hay unos que sí ya traen como... Uh, there are the flip flops. The flip flops. Eh, por cierto, guys. The old ones. Mire los viejitos, ve. <laughs> All right. Eso sí, ¿verdad? Pero ahorita ya no tenemos... Ya no tenemos... El que más se apega sería la laptop computer, ¿verdad? Okay. okay. Thank you. Yeah. What about number two, guys? Don't forget to write down your secret. your secret code. All right. Don't forget to write down your secret code. What should it be, guys? The alarm system. The alarm. Mm -hmm. oh, the system alarm, I guess, right? Mm -hmm. Alarm system or system alarm. All right. Thank you. Number three. Read and give me the answers. Don't forget to write down Ivani? Secret code. Ivania? Uh, okay. Remember to turn turn, no, turn, it. turn it. Remember it off. Uh, turn yes. it off. Remember to turn it off as soon as you come in the door. As soon as, as soon as, as, soon as, soon as, as you come as, in the door. As, as you as come, come in the door. Come, come in the door. No. In the door. Come in. in the door. To come in the door. Mm -hmm. come in Thank the door. you. Okay. So that would be. Turn it off as you just get in. What is that? Or to be the alarm system alarm? Alarm system. Alarm the alarm system. system. Yeah, alarm thank system. you. Okay. Alarm and system. what about number four? Uh, Brenda, do you want to say something? Um, yo les doy prioridad a los que me levanten la mano, guys, okay? Please, if you want to participate, it will be at least, si no pueden ponerla, que a veces nos cuesta, ¿verdad? La tecnología a mí también, a veces como que no mucho. Pueden levantar la mano así, los que tienen la cámara, I can perfectly see you, ¿ok? Pablo. I don't Pablo, hear you, you, Pablo. Are you on mute? He doesn't have the mute. Number four? Yeah. And now I can hear you. Yes, number she. four. You uh, say she. Sorry. So uh, he has it. He has it on. Sorry. <laughs> sorry, Brandy. Thank you. He guys. He guys. Mm -hmm. You hear me? I can hear you, Pablo. Try not to get it wet or the keys may get stuck. Very good. May, may get stuck. Okay, get stuck. 
Okay. Mega so, stack. if it gets wet, what do you have? The key, the keys. Maybe the blackberries, the right? But in this case, what should be the correct answer? We can see the answer. Sorry. Uh, this, so we we, we know options. that there are Laptop, only three options. Example. Okay, we already know the options. Have to be some uh, cell phone, Laptop. laptop. Maybe can cell phone. cell phone. Remember that we can that we can. But okay, we will, we can make it like this, but yeah, nowadays, to for lo menos con esto like sí o, o los o los o estos estos sí tenían antes, verdad? Los keys. Ahora todos son touch, la mayoría, ¿ok? O hay algunos que sí tienen keyboard, right? Pero en este caso creo que podría ser más the computer, all right? But we will leave it like that, like that, and then we will correct it if there is a mistake. What about number five? No he escuchado a Karen ahora, no he escuchado a la Norita, ¿verdad? Solo se presentó y nos apagó la cámara. Eh, a, tampoco a Carla, ¿cómo es Angais? Yo solo las mismas personas veo que me participan. Brenny, Diego, Pablo. Brenny, Diego, Pablo. También Clarice. Okay? Uh -huh. I always Diana. have to be the number one. I always have to be. I try to be quiet now because everybody has to participate. I understand, Brandy, and that is the point, right? Not, not. Um, I mean, that everybody participates, but if there is not anyone, any other like volunteer, then you can do it, right? But okay. we give priority to the ones who have not participated. Diana, tell me. Mm, make sure to set it each time you leave home. To set it, to set it, to set it to each, set it, set it each. Set it, each set, it time. Each, set it each time you leave home. You. You. One more time, Diana. You. All right. Make sure to set it each time you leave home. To set it each time you leave home. All right. What is that? Each time you leave A alarm home. system. Okay. The alarm system or alarm system. And number six, guys, anyone? <laughs> Yes, tell me, tell me. Remember the change the battery before to recharge, recharge, re recharge the battery, charge, charge, la che al final, charge, recharge the battery before they die. Batteries, plural. All right. So, what they can we can use both in this case, but what do you think, guys? I don't think that an alarm, I have never seen that there is a remote control or something, right? Okay, it should be a laptop or a cell phone, all right? Yeah, mm -hmm. but what is worse, guys, con la laptop, porque a veces se le puede perder. Los, the information yeah if exactly you if you don't if you have not saved anything and you are like oh my god everything got lost all right so uh, i believe in my opinion should be more laptop all right but we will we will just uh, uh um mm -hmm. we will make sure in a bit all right then number seven be sure to turn it off before bed or a call may wake you up all right, exactly. Who turns off the volume or turns the volume down when you're sleeping, guys? So, there are people who actually turned off the cell phone, right? I never turn off my cell phone. You never know there might be an emergency. However, uh, I normally oh place the mute, all right? I put it silent, of, of course. Otherwise, you cannot sleep very well. All right, so if that is your cell phone, obviously. All right, let's see. Partially, look. So, to charge the batteries before they die. Okay. So, in this case, we say we, it can be both, right? In my opinion, it could be both, but a cell phone in this case should be the most appropriate. Um, and the keys, ¿qué les dije? Miren, ahora los, los, los teléfonos casi todos son touch, ¿verdad? Entonces, sería un laptop computer. And then the others are correct, right? Easy, this exercise is very, it's a piece of cake. Mm -hmm. Super easy, okay? 
I don't think you, you need to take a screenshot for that. All right, now let's finish. 10 point at uh, the 2.10. Can you read the instructions? Hmm. Me, teacher. Okay, hey, Carla, tell me. In this class, you will read an article about technology. An article? An article. An article about technology in the future. The ball is skilled. Develop in skills. Develop skill in Ahí está mal, la verdad, chicos. So, es dos L's y una S, ¿ok? Skills. Mm -hmm. okay. Develop skills. skills. Skill in identifying. In identifying. In identifying. Paragraph, topic, and reading. Topics. Póngale la S, chicos. Topics. And reading for a specific information. For a specific. ¿Cómo lo decíamos, Diego? Acordémonos el specific. Ahí no va una E, guys. Specific. For specific. For specific. ¿Cómo me sale más fácil para, para pronunciar? Lo que hago entonces es, pongamos la C, specific, perdón, for specific. Aquí lo uno, for specific. Ok, la R con la S. Ok, más, más fluidez necesito. In this class, you will read an article about technology in the future. Develop skills in identifying paragraph topic and reading for specific information. Vamos. Fluency, fluency. Who? The same person. Ok. Alguien me escribió, guys, ayer que quería que la corrigiera. ¿Quién fue? Bueno, esperen, ya voy a leer el mensaje. Sorry. <laughs> in okay. this class... You will read an article about technology in the future. Develop sure. skill in identity. Develop no. skills. Develop, develop skills. skills. Tampoco va la e ahí. Develop skills. Uh, develop skill in identity. Skills. La S, la S, la skills. S al final. Mm -hmm. Develop skills in identifying paragraph topics and reading for specific information. For specific, for specific information. Thank you guys. Future, sure, sure. No, no pronunciamos esta R muy fuerte, guys. Read, you will read. Y no es gui, 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 como una doble, como una G, ¿verdad? Solo will. También la W es como una U, ¿ok? En este caso. Eh, we'll read an article. Eh, vaya, entonces sí creo que vamos a tener un poquito de tiempo de leer el arco. Eh, let me see. A day in your life. Okay. So we just read this part and we finish. Okay. Then you say if it's true or false. Okay. Eh, volunteers to read. Raise your hand porque sol tengo solo cinco minutitos para hacer esto, guys. Así que los que solo le que los que levanten la mano les voy a decir hasta dónde van a leer. Okay. Thank you, Gladys. Gladys, Yulisa. No se peleen, vaya eso. Okay, I will, I will be the next one. And you will be the next one. Brandy, right? That's right. Vaya, tenemos cinco y creo que con cinco. ¿Alguien más, guys? Only one. <laughs> okay, very good, Alejandra y Mario. Very good, ahí nos quedamos. Ahí nos quedamos, guys, ¿ok? Si los demás querían, hoy ni modo. Tienen que, para la, la next time, ¿vea? Ok, let's start. So we are, Brandy wants to read as well. Así que Brandy va a comenzar. One, two, three, four, five. We are uh, seven, uh, which, ¿ok? Vamos a dividirlo entre siete parrafitos, all right? Uh, please start with the instructions. Brandy. Le voy a decir el orden y solo le voy a pedir el next, ¿ok? Solo I'm going to ask you next, next, next. Y ustedes ya saben, vaya. Entonces vamos con la primera que me levantó la mano. Es Gladys, pero lo vamos, le vamos a dar a Brandy, aunque no levantó la mano, pero dijo que ella lo quería hacer. O sea, eh, Julissa, Karen, Rafael, Alejandra, en Mario. Vamos, Brandy, read instructions. Reading, a day in your life. Instruction. Read the article. Instructions. I, I like it, right? Instructions. Instructions. Read the article. Check true or false. False. 
false for each statement about By a, a statement a statement brandy statement ah for each statement all right for each statement good much the, better read the article check true or false for each statement about the future a day in your life can you continue please ladies Give me a sec. Okay, read the um, read the first part. Just the title. Like... Just the title or the first Just paragraph. The title. Just the okay. title. Are they, okay. A day in your life in the year twenty twenty. Scanned paragraph. Scan. Okay, scan the article, then add the correct heading to each paragraph. Heading, heading. to each heading paragraph. To each paragraph. All Communic right. Communicating, shopping, relaxing, eating, getting around, working. Thank you. Continue reading, my friend, Julissa. Okay. Mm -hmm. People used to know more or less how they shield their, their children. Their. their children will live. Okay. Now things are changing so quickly that we don't even know, even know what our own lives will be like in a few years. All right. What like in a few years what follow is how expert what follows expert, lo que continue, uh, sorry, what follows sorry, sorry. sorry what follows is is how expert how is, experts expert. guys insisto con la s s es guys no los pronuncian los plurales okay so experts <laughs> see the future yeah so what follows is how, it's act, how experts see the future, okay? Eh, lives, ¿verdad? Muy bien esa pronunciación, guys. Lives. Eh, um, mm, mm, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Miren, we only have three minutes, así que los demás, ¿verdad? Ya justamente los demás me van a estar pendientes para que terminemos de leer este artículo y los demás que quieren leer tenemos creo que otro artículo anterior, ¿se recuerdan? De lo que contestamos ayer. Ahora nada más, veamos chicos rapidito. Eh, um, you need to pay attention by driving. Eh, that is obviously right. Ni siquiera tienen que leer todo el article para decir que, que es true, ¿verdad? It's true, yeah. Exactly. All right. What about the number two? You pay for your groceries when they arrive. That is false. false. So, true. Ok. Yo sé que ya lo leyeron. Muchas gracias. Thank you very much. Yo sé que ya lo leyeron algunos, ok. Eh, pero eh, el reading lo vamos a dejar para más adelantito por, por cuestión del tiempo, ok. The number three, people don't use cash anymore. False. False. It's false, right? Okay. Eh, are you sure, guys? Ya, ya le vamos a mandar la respuesta. Oh. You usually buy a hamburger or pizza for lunch. Yeah. False. 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 True. True or false. Le voy a dar la respuesta yo, guys. Vaya. And number five, you need to go to the office every day. Es que aquí... Estamos, yo sé que hay unas cosas que son muy obvias, pero aquí estamos respondiendo according to the article, ¿ok? According ah, to the, al, al, okay. al artículo. Ajá. Por eso es que yo solo les doy la respuesta para que ustedes terminen la sesión 1 y 2, porque por el tiempo, ¿ok? So you need to, the, to go to the office every day. No, oh, ahora sí. no, ¿verdad? Pero según el article dice que es false. Uh, number six is also false. And then the number seven is, when you get a message, you can see the sender's face. It's false. Number, false. Sorry, sorry, guys. The, the, the letter seven is true. And the letter six is false. Then the number eight, you have to go to a video store to rent movies. Eso era antes, ¿verdad? Pero 
Así que ahora ya no es necesario. Igual, el artículo de ahí lo dice. Alguien me dijo una que no estaba correcta. Miren, acá está. Entonces es, sí, es true, ¿ok? Ese es true. Eh, así que esa está bien fácil, chicos. Si ustedes se equivocan, ya saben que si está mala, pues ustedes la corrigen porque solo es cambiar la respuesta de falso o verdadero. ¿Ok? Entonces, you need to pay attention by driving. Eh, era false, ¿ok? Pero sí, para, según nuestro criterio, according to our criteria, eh, sí, ¿verdad? Hay que poner atención. ¿Ok? Pero según el artículo decía que era false. Así que ustedes ya tienen las respuestas completas y creo que aquí terminamos el uh, section 2. Solo nos queda el reading part, ¿ok? Creo, guys. Espero yo. I remember. Yeah, ahí estamos. See you tomorrow. I digo, I see you on Monday, guys. Have a very nice weekend and thank you for being connected see and participating, all right? Bye bye, guys. Thank you. Bye, bye. 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 B